what's up welcome back to the channel it's james how everybody doing today man we have just completed season number two in the old men's dynasty and i'm a little disappointed because we finished the season with a three game losing streak um as y'all just saw previous video we lost the egg bowl in a i can't even say a shootout it was just more or less us can't stop the run um the last three games showed that starting with the georgia game uh, we got exposed there big time um lsu was pretty much the same uh, but they did torch us in the air as well um we did have a all true freshman uh secondary um so they showed their true colors in that game um then we had the main cornerback he got hurt he was out for 12 weeks so that pretty much put a big clamp on the secondary because we couldn't rotate guys in and then mississippi state um they just ran the ball on us uh we couldn't do anything i did late in the fourth quarter i started bringing the safety into the box manually playing that that did make a change but that interception on our last push to score i think that was a bit of uh some bull crap on ea but it is what it is so with that being said, man, this is the end of season two. Uh, we got one more year on the contract. Um, but let's go and check out the conference standings. Let's see where we ended at. We were six. Uh, we moved down to seven in conference with that loss to Mississippi State. Um, other than that, uh, let me show y'all the uh championship games um kent state northern illinois was in the mac alabama tennessee rematch with alabama winning that game tennessee was ranked seventh before this game oklahoma nebraska nebraska was sitting at number one before this game so that loss took them out of national uh contention and miami was ranked five before this loss so as you can see it's just crazy, but up to hit SEC where we're at, man. SEC West is dominating the SEC championship game. Alabama pulled it off big time because Tennessee blow them slap out in a um, regular season, but they came back to win this game. So it's crazy. I thought LSU would have got this by beating us, but I'm assuming LSU might have lost to Arkansas, the reason why they didn't get in. So it is what it is on that aspect. Um, here's your top 25. West Virginia sitting at number one, followed by Ohio State, Oklahoma, Louisville, Nebraska, Texas, VTech, USC, NC State, Notre Dame, Oregon State, Miami, Georgia, Arizona State, Tennessee, South CAC, Florida State, Arkansas, LSU, Georgia Tech, UNLV, Alabama, Northwestern, Cal, and bringing up the red San Diego State, which is the Mountain West champs. So that is that. Other than that, man, the bowl game, uh, I think we're playing Duke, but we'll run through this real quick. Uh, Poinsettia Bowl. Michigan State TCU that seemed like a good matchup um, Houston uh, Northern Illinois in the GMAC Bowl Las Vegas Bowl Arizona UNLV the New Orleans Bowl Memphis taking on Kent State uh, let me see where we at all right I go to SEC's first game Independence Bowl Auburn taking on Navy, followed by the Emerald Bowl. Uh, that's pretty bad for Boise State. I think they should have got a better bowl than that. But Holiday Bowl, Texas taking on Cal. 
That should be a pretty good game. Win the Music City Bowl, taking on eight and four Duke. Minnesota taking on Florida State in the Champs Bowl. The Sun Bowl is UCLA taking on Notre Dame. Wow, the Alamo Bowl got La Tech taking on Penn State. Hmm. Liberty Bowl Rice taking on Arkansas. LSU Miami Chick-fil-A Bowl. Man, they could have gave us that, man. Outback Bowl, Georgia taking on Michigan. That should be a good one. South Cac taking on Missouri in the Cotton Bowl. Man, that ought to be a good one too. Georgia, uh, Georgia Tech taking on Oklahoma State. That would be a good one. Tennessee, Northwestern, Capital One. This should be a good one as well. Then you got Ohio State taking on Oregon State. Whoa, wait a minute. How did they get jumped? I thought they should be in the national. Ohio State sitting at number two. Orange Bowl is NC State and Louisville, which played in the national last year. Alabama, Virginia Tech in the Sugar Bowl. That's a good matchup. Fiesta Bowl is Nebraska and the Trojans. Wow, they gave that to Oklahoma. Well, I guess the reason why they gave Oklahoma, Oklahoma did beat number one ranked Nebraska, so but I still say I think Ohio State should have got that. No, uh, I, I ain't an Ohio State fan, but I think uh, they got snubbed on this one. So again, you got a Big 12 team taking on another team out of the Big East. So I don't know if that says a lot about the other conferences or the Big 12 thing. They, 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 they ain't got no competition. It's that simple. Man, this is ridiculous, man. But yeah, I'll, again, I'm I'm a little upset with the way the way the season ended, man. It's just bad. Um, but it's all good though. Um, let's check out our offensive rankings, and then we'll end the video. are ranked 75 out of 120 teams for offense uh, defense we should be somewhere at the top uh, I think I'm gonna recruit heavily some old linemen because I need to get the running game established we finished 28th rank so far in the defensive side of the ball not where I wanted to place that but again it is what it is we gave up almost 3,000 passing yards. That is not good enough to be in the top. And we was giving up 24 points a game. But we got 31 sacks and 17 picks. So that wasn't bad by defense. But we got to grow up in the secondary a little bit more. But that is the rundown before the bowl game. So y'all stay tuned, man. Bowl game coming up versus Duke. Music City Bowl. See y'all there. Peace.